Well, it doesn't advocate promiscuity. However, Sex and the Single Girl does state the fact that single women do have sex lives occasionally, and it isn't the end of the world when they have them. I think the moral code for single women has probably changed in the last 10 years, and Sex and the Single Girl talks about this new code. A girl simply is not ruined, in my opinion, if she has had an affair before she gets married. I'm not promoting it, but it does happen, and it isn't at the end of the world for her. It seems to me that a single girl can only have a good, rich, full life if she has men in her life, and I've simply written everything I know about surrounding yourself with men. It doesn't mean that you have to go to bed with all of them. It just means that you have them in your life to be friends, loved ones, companions, pals, men that you work with. I think you're much happier if you have many men around you rather than just one until the time that you get married.